Hey everybody, so today I'm here to share with you guys a kids spring clothing haul. I have three daughters, ages seven and a half, almost six, and two. So I got a little bit of something for everybody. Obviously we have hand-me-downs and stuff, but I still try to get the, the kids their own interested kind of, you know, character clothes or, you know, things to make it feel like they still have their own wardrobe. So the only thing that I don't have to show you guys a lot of is pajamas and shoes. I'm just having a really hard time finding summer pajamas right now. I feel like I just keep seeing Christmas PJs everywhere. I'm assuming just stock coming in from all the backup from the holidays, but I just haven't been super successful finding you know, short sleeves or nightgowns or stuff for the kids. So I don't have a ton of that. And also with the older girls, I am letting them pick their shoes out when it comes closer to needing them. Remy doesn't want to wear Crocs anymore. So she will be picking out some kind of tennis shoes. And Sophie's just going to get these pink Crocs. It's called Pink Lemonade, part of their new color collection. And I'm just going to get her some charms to put on it because they don't have anything character wise that she wants. And I do have some shoes for Lexi, but that's about everything. I want to start off showing you guys their Easter outfits. If I can, I will link them down below. I'll try to link whatever I can down below to be more specific, but these I know particularly tend to go fast because they are targeted towards a certain holiday. So for Lexi, I got this little blue ruffle dress. It's got a tulle skirt on it. I absolutely love this color on Lexi. She's got her dad's darker hair. This color just always looks amazing on her. I picked all these dresses up in store, but they were at one time available online. So like I said, if I can find them, I will link them for you guys. And then the older girls have matching dresses. So I got both of them these ones they're called like puff sleeves or something like that on the listing online and there's actually not an opening here these are just fake buttons it's got the ruching and then it just has some pockets and a cute little skirt and it's the same all the way down through here it's not actually an opening it's just fake buttons so that's really nice but it's super soft fabric not scratchy not itchy or anything like that so both of the older girls will be wearing this and then we've got Lexi in this and I just think it's going to be the cutest picture wise so yes got both the girls their dresses their Sophie's Remy's and Lexi's and uh, I already had them try them on and they just look so darling so I want to start off with that and now let's just go from oldest to youngest so we're going to start off with little miss sophie and i have walmart sitting up top so each of the kids i shopped at walmart target and old navy that's it so far so the very first thing i have here is a swimsuit if you guys saw my rant on instagram you'll know that there is never as many rash guard options as there is for boys in the girls section which just annoys me thoroughly. Girls deserve just as much sun protection. It's important. So that's what I was looking for. Walmart did deliver. Again, I showed you guys these on my stories and I was able to link them then. I'm hoping I still can because they're really reasonable. So this is a two-piece rash guard. As you can see, the sleeves are tie-dye. So Sophie loves anything rainbow and tie-dye. And I felt like this is a really cute set. And this was $10, by the way. And then it comes with bottoms, which I feel like is pretty important for the older kids. That way they can go to the bathroom easily. They're not just completely stripping all the way down. So yes, this was Sophie's first bathing suit. Both the girls will definitely need another one because we always need multiple swimsuits. But so far, that's the only thing that I've found recently priced. So that's what she got. And then in the boys section at Walmart, I found this Minecraft t-shirt, which the girls love Minecraft. They play it every day together. So of course I got that one for her. And then I got her this nightgown, which these nightgowns don't hold up the best, but it was only $7. So I don't know that I can be mad at it. It's a mermaid and I felt like it was very pretty, really long too. And it is on the thinner side, so I feel like it's pretty good for summertime. And that is everything for Walmart. We'll go into Target now. This one is very hard to get your hands on, but it is a Mirabelle Encanto nightgown. So she really, really wanted this one. It does look very similar to the actual 
skirt that Mirabelle is wearing in the movie. Sophie is obsessed with Mirabelle. It's her favorite character. She loves that movie. She corrects me all the time on how to pronounce it properly. It's not Encanto, mom. It's Encanto. So she corrects me all the time. But this is really hard to get your hands on because it's like one of the only nightgowns out there for this movie. I don't know why, but it's like constantly out of stock. So when it did get back in stock. I grabbed it for her because she is slowly growing out of all of those previous nightgowns that I've showed you guys. A lot of those Ariel and Elsa ones that I had shown you years and years ago, she still fits into and they're just now getting to be a little snug on her where she wants something the next size up. So I highly recommend if you have kids, nightgowns, nightshirts, whatever it is, ordering them a couple size bigger they last a long time. It's something that you don't have to constantly buy new of opposed to like, you know, pants and shirts. But anyways, I got her this Disney princess t-shirt. Now I went a couple sizes bigger because I was assuming that it was going to be really small and fit really tight because it's a character shirt. And typically from Target, I feel like that's how they run. But this is actually pretty big. So maybe it'll shrink in the wash. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just be really big on her. We'll just see. But it's Ariel and flounder. And then it's got Ariel's tail up there in the pocket. But Yes, wanted to get her that because the only Ariel t-shirt she had left, she's growing out of. And then I found this amazing t-shirt at Target. It's a dino t-shirt and it's got different facts on it. I loved the colors. It was actually in the girls section, which is amazing. Normally I have to go to the boys section to find her some dino clothes. She's still obsessed with dinosaurs. She loves them so much and she's very eager for this. I just think it's the cutest t-shirt ever. And it was really ironic because I found that one and then I found something of Remy's interest that I'll show you here when we get to her clothes in just a minute. And then these leggings I just bought because they're so cute. They're so cute. I absolutely love these. I love the colors and all the flowers in them. And then the last set of stuff for Sophie is the play clothes. So I get these specifically from Target because buying them this way is cheap and I don't care what happens to these clothes, whether they're outside getting muddy, they're at a picnic with the grandparents, getting food all over them, everything in between, doesn't matter. So I got two two packs of these t-shirts. So for Sophie, I went with yellow and blue, two of her favorite colors. And I believe this two pack is $8, but I think I had an extra coupon on it. So it was even cheaper than $8. So both of these t-shirts were under $4 a piece. And I got two packs of that. So she's got four play shirts. And then I did the same thing here with the shorts. So these are Target's biker shorts and they're just plain black. A two pack, it says $9.50, but again, I think I had a code, so it was a little bit cheaper. Again, it makes the shorts around $4 a pair. These are nice because there's no gaps. You can't get underwear shots or anything like that playing outside. Kids are nice and covered up. They're also tight to the skin, so it's great for like bike rides and stuff, so nothing's catching on extra clothing. And like I said, it's all cheap. It's all pretty durable. We have t-shirts that are still around from previous summers. And like I said, I don't care what happens to these. The kids and Mark and the grandparents all know that that's what they wear, so it's just really easy for everyone to know. They grab, they get on themselves, and they're ready to go. So that was everything for Sophie. And then I'm moving on to Remy. So I'm going to start at Walmart again because that's where I found her bathing suit as well. She asked for something with flowers on it. I got this one. It's the Justice line at Walmart. So it was $16. And I did want to say, I feel like the Justice line runs a little bit big. I did get her her typical size that I would have bought her, but it was big on her. So we want a size below, but it has these beautiful flowers on the side. It has some kind of, you know, Justice saying on the front. And then it also comes with bottoms as well. But yes, she was very happy with this. It's very cute on. But again, you might want to size down or at least keep your receipt. That way, if it doesn't fit, you can return it. And then I also found another Minecraft shirt in the boys section at Walmart. This one's green, her favorite color, time to mine. So I got that for her. And then I also got her a nightgown that's really similar to the mermaid one I got for Sophie, but it's unicorns because Sophie's all about mermaids and Remy's all about unicorns. And I thought this was really cute. I feel like the unicorns are slowly really becoming overdone, but I thought that this unicorn was actually pretty 
adorable. So I got that for her and that was everything from Walmart. So pretty much tit for tat at Walmart <laughs> as far as what they got. And then from Target, I got her this nightgown. So Remy has a lot of hand-me-down nightgowns, but I wanted to get her a couple of her own. So this has a few of her very favorite princesses on it. We've got Rapunzel over here, Tiana, and Jasmine. She's not a big fan of Cinderella, but it's got three of her faves on there. So she loves it. This one's pretty thin as well. That material typically holds up pretty well, but at the same time, it's not super thick, too hot for summer or anything. And then for her Disney princess shirt, I got this Tiana one, which I absolutely love. It's about time we saw more of Tiana. I would also love to see more of Jasmine, more of Moana, but slowly but surely getting there. And then just like I got Sophie the Dino shirt, I found this video game shirt in the girls section, which is this amazing. Like I never see this kind of stuff. So it says gamer and it's got different controls. It also has like a VR headset on it and just a bunch of different stuff. So she saw this and she went bananas because Remy is our little gamer girl. I mean, both the girls like video games, but Remy especially so. And then I also got her the same leggings as Sophie. And just like I just explained the play clothes for Sophie, I did the same thing for Remy. I got her two two packs of the biker shorts and then I got her two two packs of these t-shirts and I just decided to keep with the same colors. That way I know when we're outside playing, Remy always has a purple or pink shirt. Sophie always has blue or yellow. They both have black pants. Easy to identify and remember and all that good stuff. Although you hope you never have to, but better safe than sorry. We'll start off with Lexi's shoes. I got these croc knockoff type things from Walmart. I believe they were like only 10 bucks. I added them to my grocery order and they're actually really cute. They're perfect. Honestly, she didn't need crocs because we have so many hand-me-downs, but I did want to get her something that she enjoys. She's Paw Patrol obsessed and these are super cute, really affordable. So hopefully I can link those for you guys because she's a huge fan. The reason I had to put a video clip over top of it was because I can't get her to take them off. So she's wearing them right now. <laughs> and then the next thing I got were some flip flops from Old Navy. I just bought these because I know there's various times that flip flops are just really convenient for the kids. So I got her a pair in yellow and then I got her some new socks. These are my favorite socks for toddlers. So it's the Fruit of the Loom Beyond Soft. I don't know, but we had these for when she was more like in the infant sizes and they were amazing. They are super soft and I don't know. They're just really, really nice. They hold up really well. And I got some that actually fit her feet now. So there's that. And then the last pair of shoes I got because I cannot help myself. Does she need another pair of tennis shoes? Absolutely not. But she is also our last baby. So this is my last chance to buy toddler clothes that my kids are going to be in and I'm going to take full advantage of it. So I got her these tennis shoes, which are super cute, but then it's got the yellow on the back and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. They're so cute. So got these from Target. On to her actual clothes, starting off again with Walmart. So when I picked up the other girls bathing suits, I went to the toddler section and that's mostly my biggest complaint about bathing suits when it comes to little girls. In the actual girls section, there's at least a few options of rash guards, but when it comes to toddlers, there's hardly ever any, which is just irritating because if there's anybody's skin that needs to be protected, it's fresh baby skin. I mean, all our kids need to have some protection, but especially the little babies. So I did find this one, which I bought, but it was perfectly fitting on her. I got her a 2T, that's what she wears. It fit her perfectly, but I mean, obviously we're not gonna be using a swimming suit in Ohio for a few months. So I decided to size up and I ordered the 3T online, but it's kind of like a jungle theme and it's got a bunch of hidden animals in there. At first glance, I just see the little leaves on there, but then when you look at it, you find more and more animals. Super cute. It was adorable on. It was only $10, I believe. Yes. And then when I was online ordering that right size, I found this one, which is rainbows. A lot of fluorescent orange in there, but I love it. Same idea, same with the zipper. There's no buttons down here or anything. And I will say that Target has a better selection when it comes to sun protection for kids and rash guards and stuff like that. But I just never saw any that I wanted to spend money on. And I feel like they are 
pretty great quality too. We've been happy with all our Target swimsuits. I just didn't see any that my I felt like my girls would like. So that's why I went with Walmart this year. But we'll see. The season's still young. So then the only other thing that I got from Walmart for Lexi was this little dress. It was only $5 and it's got leopard print on it. And the little circles in there are very pale blush pink. It's coming up a little bit more vivid on camera, but I want to take pictures this fall with her in it. When I take the other girls kind of like homeschool yearly photos that we do every beginning of the year, that's what I want to put her in. Okay, so I only have a few things from Target for her. I did also get her two two packs of the bike shorts, but we have so many old t-shirts that she'll just wear one of those. I didn't want to get her brand new t-shirts when we had other ones that can get dirty. And then I got this t-shirt so that hopefully this spring I can take a picture of them all matching because the heart is made from those same flowers that are in the girl's leggings. So I'll just put whatever t-shirt on them and then she'll have this with some leggings and I thought it was super cute. I just love that pattern. It's adorable. And then I got her this t-shirt at the same time very retro, really in right now. And then this t-shirt, oh my gosh, I have never seen a character shirt that I think I like more. And it is so soft, like butter smooth. So I got this from Target and it is a Toy Story one, obviously, but the colors are a little bit more muted, a little bit more retro. And I really like it. It's super soft, very, very happy with it. I did get a 3T, I did size up and that's a good a good call because this is a little bit smaller. Like I said, that's what I typically expect from Target. I'd rather them be too big than too small, but I really love this. It was in the boys section, I believe. If you've got a Toy Story fan, you need to get this. It's so adorable. Lastly, I got her a few things from Old Navy. Mostly she just needed PJs. Like I said, with her, I like to do shorts and t-shirts. So the very first one I got was this B one and the bees are so cute. They're like gardening. And if you remember her first birthday party, it was Lexi B turns one or first B day party, whatever. Had to do it. So, so cute. Again, I love anything blue on her with her dark hair. And then this is my total mess up here. I don't know what's with me. I have a horrible habit of this. I ordered two of the same pajamas. I do the same thing with grocery pickup orders. I'll be like, why did they give us two of this? Like I didn't do that but I do. I put two in the cart and I have no idea why. I make this mistake often, but I got these pajamas, the little daisies, the peace sign shorts have the same daisies on them. I bought two pair. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. And last but certainly not least is her little dino shirt. I loved this. I love the colors. I love that the outline is just like a burgundy and that the dinosaurs actually look like dinosaurs. I feel like for girls, they tend to like water them down and make them like really cartoonish and stuff. But Lexi doesn't like that. She likes the actual dinos on here and she actually understood what they were and she's super excited about this when I showed it to her. And another thing about Old Navy, I would also size up there as well. I always go one size up because even if it comes in the right size or like looks like it will be, when you wash it, I feel like they always shrink quite a bit. So yes, that is everything. I know it's a lot smaller than our typical spring hauls, but with homeschooling and being home quite often and really just playing outside around here, I feel like it's really just given me a new perspective about how many clothes our kids need, especially with homeschooling, because half the time we're just doing that in our pajamas. So everybody wins there. Like I said, I will try to link as much as I possibly can down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, why don't we put the pink heart emoji. As always, thanks for watching.